for us to find the derivative for the given function. Notice how we have a product of two functions of x, and therefore, we will be applying the product rule shown here in the upper right hand corner. f prime of x is equal to the first function of two raised to the power of three x times the derivative of the second function, which is the derivative of five raised to the power of four x squared, and then plus the second function of five raised to the power of four x squared times the derivative of the first function, which is a derivative of two raised to the power of three x. And now we find the derivative here and here, and then simplify as much as possible. f prime of x is equal to two to the power of three x, and then for the derivative of five raised to the power of four x squared, we apply the derivative formula, the derivative of a to the power of u with respect to x, the derivative of five raised to the power of four x squared is equal to natural log of the base, or natural log five, times the original function, which is times five raised to the power of four x squared, times the derivative of the exponent with respect to x. The derivative of four x squared is eight x. And then we have plus five raised to the power of four x squared, times the derivative of two raised to the power of three x, which is natural log two, where two is the base, times the original function of two raised to the power of three x, times the derivative of the exponent of three x, which is three. And now let's rewrite the products. We have f prime of x equals, for the first product, let's begin with natural log five times eight x, and write that as eight natural log five times x, and we're still left with the two exponential functions, so times two to the power of three x times five raised to the power of four x squared, and then plus, for the second product, let's begin with natural log two times three. Let's write that as three natural log two, and then we have times the two exponential functions. So this is our derivative. Let's go ahead and factor out the greatest common factor from these two products. Notice both products contain the same exponential terms of two raised to the power of three x and five raised to the power of four x squared. So let's go ahead and factor the exponential terms out. If we factor out the two exponential terms from the first product, we're left with eight natural log five times x. From the second product, we're left with three natural log two. So the derivative may be expressed in either of these two forms here. I hope you found this helpful.